What is up, YouTube? My name is Jonah Glenn, like you should know already. So, again, like you, you know it. You cannot tell by the thumbnail. We are making another series, another episode of Jonah Makes. So, today, <laughs> we're going all the way over to, I think her name, correct me if I'm wrong, Zara Cuisina. But, anyway, she does, I don't know, to be honest, I saw this one video and I was like, okay. This makes a good John Makes video. So I really don't know exactly what her channel is about. But I went over there and I saw this amazing croissant recipe. And shocking. It only took like maybe two to three hours to make. And it was simple. So I was like, let's do it. Because first, croissants are a very complex dessert. It's kind of hard though. Well, not hard, but it's time consuming. But also, it takes two to three days to make. So, of course, me, I have to find a simple, easy recipe to make. So, I decided, okay, this looks pretty easy. So, let's try it out. So, on a very snowy day in this part of the country, I decided to make these croissants. Now, it was good, but my fault was you will see later on is that I put Snickers judge me now like what well don't judge me but I put Snickers though Snickers inside the croissants first I thought it was a good idea I was like you know what Snickers it's gonna be good it's sweet out of the croissants it's gonna be amazing but never ever do that but besides the Snickers it was actually a pretty decent Croissant, except I wasn't, you know, I didn't have all that flakiness, but it still turned out like a croissant. So, here is Jonah Makes' video of croissants. Let's get right. in a bowl of a stand mix. We're going to add in some milk, yeast, and granulated sugar. Give that a quick mix until all is dissolved, and we're going to cover it up with aluminum foil or a plastic wrap for 10 minutes till you see all those bubbles inside of the mixture. Now we're gonna, we're gonna add some salt, milk and flour, and hook attachment. And we're gonna give that a quick mix until all is combined, then an extra level for the kneading. Now take your dough out of the bowl, shape it into a ball, and we're gonna place that back in the bowl. But first, we're gonna add some oil, then place the dough back inside the bowl and cover it completely in oil until all is combined in oil. All right, wrap it up in aluminum foil or a plastic wrap for one hour. After one hour is done, flour your surface with flour and we're gonna roll it out and flatten it into a log sized shape. So with a bench cutter or a knife, we're going to cut our dough into 18 equal size pieces. After all the pieces are cut, we're going to shape each dough into a ball. And then we're going to, after that, we're going to flatten it out into a circular shape. Then this is the point where we're going to exchange our butter in. So after rolling out each circle, we're going to add in a um, layer of softened butter on each layer like it is explained in the video right here so after all is layered we're going to crimp the sides we're going to cover it up with aluminum foil or plastic wrap and we're going to let that sit in the refrigerator i actually put mine in the freezer for 30 minutes after it's out of the refrigerator in the freezer sorry we're going to shape it out and we're going to roll it out into a nice sized circle and we're going to cut it out into triangular pieces just like that Ooh! so now we're going to cut our size of our dough we're going to roll it out just like that now i bad choice y'all it's a really bad choice i put in snickers please do not ever do this but i thought it would replace the chocolate that i don't have right now but clearly it did not do that so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna roll out the dough all of them with our sneakers sadly into it in, in a nice crescent shape 
all right place it on a parchment paper lined baking sheet or a baking mat and we're going to brush it with some egg wash and cover it up for two hours after two hours is done we place it back in the oven and it looks just like that for 15 minutes right. on three. Yeah. so <laughs> it's me again back with the outro and the outcome of the video I'll give my lovely mic and me with this huge light and along with my room uh, congratulations you see it so let's talk about these croissants first of all <laughs> okay first of all don't get me wrong the color beautiful nice golden brown amazing for me I want a little bit darker but that, that's just me second of all the Snickers which really was a bad idea please don't do the Snickers I am telling you don't do Snickers but overall besides Snickers part it was actually a pretty good tasting croissant but it wasn't flaky so I, I don't know if it was me or the actual recipe but it wasn't that flaky as I wanted to be okay okay I think first of all that you need to actually freeze the dough for a little bit longer than 30 minutes to really get that butter solidified so really more than 30 minutes maybe set your temperature down I actually set my freezer to negative 14 degrees I don't know if that's wrong or not but <laughs> that's what I did and so I put it on negative 14 degrees and I let it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes until the butter really solidify in the freezer it worked but not really but anyway that was our outcome of the video so I let I let out this part so um, you're gonna let it bake after you unwrap it and roll it out and cut it into your um crescent size shape and roll it up. You're gonna put it in a baking line tray and you're gonna bake it for um at, at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, 15 to 17 minutes, which I forgot to include in the video. My apologies. But if you like this video or you want to see more of Jonah makes, make sure you like this video and subscribe and comment down below to see what you want to see next and thank you for being a part of this channel thank you very much see you soon oh